The Pathé Pictorial Cine Magazine was an entertaining bi-weekly roundup of the lighter side of daily life. Less serious than the Pathé Newsreel, it was the perfect forum for the display of dresses, skirts, hats, shoes, handbags, and all the other accoutrements necessary for the well-turned-out woman. Wartime women wondering how to make their clothing coupons stretch were encouraged to join make-do and mend clubs. Films demonstrated how to make stockings from netting, swimsuits from dishcloths, and a nice new chapeau from husband's old trilby. When something new absolutely had to be purchased, women were encouraged to buy for service. These were clothes that would last and would be suitable for many different occasions. A preoccupation for many women during the war was the lack of hosiery. Several films were made on this subject, and one does suspect this may have been a splendid excuse for voyeuristic cameramen to capture pretty ankles on celluloid. Hairstyles were another popular topic for the cinemagazine. With many women engaged in war work, the vingle was suggested as a suitable hairstyle to keep long tresses out of industrial machinery. Film star Lana Turner was shown having her hair set in lovely pin curls for a striking new look, and legendary hairdresser Teasy Weezy demonstrated a novel hairpiece fashioned from a buffalo tail. Once the 1940s follower of fashion had perfectly styled her hair, she may well have topped off the look with one of the dainty hats seen in Lady Denisa Newborough's Mayfair Emporium. If a little less flush with money, she could always fashion herself a nifty turban. Pathé kindly demonstrated the various ways these could be made from a single scarf or for a natty little pussycat look from a combination of two. Now then, slip into something comfortable, lay back on your chaise longue, and let these fantastic films take you back to the halcyon days of feminine glamour. <laughs>